Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hermit Craft. How'd you guys like that intro, huh? Music by Ellie Beatmaker. He actually made that for me way back in the day, um, and it was one of my favorite songs. I still get kind of like goosebumpy listening to it. It's really, really awesome, and I love it, and I love him anyway. Another episode of Hermit Craft coming your way. We have a good one for you today. What you're looking at here is my new high-tech sheep head generator. Huh? Wow, what the heck, dude? I was showing off my sheep head generator and you just totally ruined it. See, now you're on fire and you're freaking out. This is how it works. There's a lot of redstone involved in this. So, I have six adult sheep at the top. They're standing on a little bit of a, um, I guess, trapdoor stand. Would that be considered? A trapdoor ledge. They don't fall through the ledge, okay? Then I get up here and I breed them with wheat. Have you seen the redstone yet? Okay, then... The little babies fall through the trapdoors and eventually grow into adults. Okay, now this is where the redstone comes in. I come over here with my looting three sword and I slice each and every one of them in hopes to get a head. And I just got an orange head. So now I gotta dye them all a different color to get a different head. There's no redstone involved. We're gonna start today's episode by winning XB's build contest. That's right, I'm confident. Hermit Hollows. We're at Hermit Hollows, XB has a build contest going on, and he wants an apocalyptic or a post-apocalyptic build in Hermit Hollows here. So, we're going to pick out our plot right here, right where the sheep is. This is pretty much in the middle of town. I feel like every town, there's a few builds here already, and by the time you see this, by the way, um, oh, the winners ha will have already been chosen, so hopefully that winner is, is I. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of town, or a bunch of buildings here in this town, and right in the middle, I feel like this place needs... A convenience store. A 7-Eleven. More like it. So this is going to be our plot. Let me put my helmet back on. You never know when you need a good helmet. This is going to be our plot. And here, I'll place my stuff over here just so it's out of my way. There's nobody building here just yet. So, sheep, what do you think? I think what we start with is a nice little parking lot. Every convenience store needs a parking lot. So that is what we're going to start with. Bam! Parking lot complete. I'll, uh, I think I'll go over it when I'm done and make it look all apocalyptic. Apoc apocalypsified. Nailed it. Uh, next, we want to build the actual structure. Ooh, I'm getting a little... <laughs> my connection's a little slow, guys. You're going to have to forgive me. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's not going to be beautiful for much longer because I'm going to tear it to shreds. Okay, the floor needs to be an actual floor. And 7-Eleven floors are kind of always gross, in my opinion. Sorry, 7-Eleven people, if you're listening. <laughs> I'm sure seven, the 7-Eleven... The um, Brass is listening to this hermit craft video, but I'm gonna go ahead and use diorite because it's my least favorite block And um, I feel like it will it'll make a good a good dirty 7-eleven floor Let's take a tour inside. It's uh, it's just about time to start Messing this place up hard, but anyway, here's the uh, the diorite floor There is a couple of sh a few shelves four shelves five six shelves all empty of course because this is the this is the apocalypse everything gets taken except for of course for the lime green slushy Nobody likes the lime green slushy. One of the shelves is already on the floor. Obviously, things get a little rowdy in the apocalypse. This is the uh, the um, register, I guess, the cashier area. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna give this place a lot more detail. This is already. I mean, I, I've already started like messing things up a little bit. Uh, there's no ceiling on it now, but there will be a ceiling. Um, so be patient with that. Uh, but there won't be in a full ceiling because things are gonna things are gonna happen in this place that that you know nature's gonna take over. How about that? Let's just leave it at that. Nature will be taking over. First, I think I want to knock out a bunch of holes in the wall. Then we want to fill in those holes with various other blocks that make things look kind of broken and uh, dilapidated. Good. Good. Next, we want to actually start adding this roof. But the roof is not going to go all the way around. In fact, not even close. Oh, this is too much of a, too much of a steppy system here. What we're going to do is just put one like this. Just to open it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's the good stuff. That looks like a pretty good roof. Now we have to have pieces of the roof down here on the ground because they would have totally fallen in these empty spots. But some of it might have gotten, you know, taken for supplies and stuff. So we're not going to have all the pieces of the roof. Just a few pieces here and there. With all this pandemonium happening in the store and outside the store, of course there's going to be some portions of the floor that are damaged beyond repair. So we're gonna drop some of these floor pieces down just a tad, just to make them look a little bit more weathered and damaged. You know, like apocalypty. Also the counter probably collapsed a little bit. I don't see this thing withstanding too many uh, zombies jumping on top of it. 
Maybe this 7-Eleven has been hit so hard such a long time ago that nature is already starting. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Here, let's just, yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah, those shelves have been knocked down. Those shelves have been knocked down. Perfect. Um, yeah, nature's already starting to take its course again. And speaking of nature taking its course, of course, a couple of these blocks should be covered in dirt because that's what's going to happen eventually. And let's get some leaf blocks in here now and start, I guess, naturing up the interior. We've added some empty canned goods right here and uh, a couple of cobwebs. I think the interior is looking fantastic, but you know what this place needs? Smoke and fire. A little campfire there and maybe some smooth stone there. Will it go through? It will. Fantastic. Look at that. It's been so collapsed that it's burning. <laughs> is that a thing? Uh, let's put a couple more in some of these corners here, especially over here. Finishing touch. A brave young worker. Gave his life defending his 7-Eleven. Moving on to the exterior now. Obviously, this has got to go. Do I have silk touch on me? I do. Let's get rid of some of these windows. And again, we mess with the floor a little bit. Some dirt blocks here and there. We definitely have to mess with the sign a little bit. And then the, the pieces that fall, we will actually place them on the floor. Or we will try anyway. Ooh. Looking good, looking good. Oh, man. Okay, let's add some vines out here as well. Not too many because vines. I'm telling you, they should make it so that vines grow a um, a random amount. Not always the same amount. You know what? Let's stick a leaf block back there. Good. Uh, yeah, not always the same amount because it's all, they always always end up being like the same, the same length and it's kind of boring. Uh, just a couple here and there. Maybe a couple there. We'll put one there. What do we have left? One on this side. I want it to drape over a hole. There we go. Perfect. Um, okay. Should we fill some more of these blocks in here with like some leaf blocks? I think that would be kind of cool. Let's see. I have some back here already. Is it a zombie apocalypse? Possibly. Maybe it's a husk apocalypse. Let's put this husk head down here because maybe maybe this guy had a rough day too. Maybe, maybe our, our boy ZF fought him off. We can't see him. Uh, <laughs> maybe he was fought off. Um, I don't want it any stripey way. Just like that is probably good. I'm stuck over here. All right. And now, just a couple other finishing touches here. This, this, um, concrete looks a little bit too perfect to be apocalypse concrete. So we're going to replace it with stone and light gray. Let's see. Light gray, some stone. Okay. And then we're probably going to add some other things. Maybe some stone stairs would work. Actually, do I have any stone stairs ready to go? I have stone slabs. Let me make a couple stone stairs here. Boop. So we'll have just a couple random stone stairs. Ooh, and maybe the stripe could probably be grayed out a little bit in some cases. I think I'm all done. One final look at the outside here. Oh, baby. It's looking so run down. Like most 7-Elevens. Just kidding. 7-Eleven staff and and employees and and uh, bosses and stuff um so yeah everything looks pretty crazy nobody likes the lime slushy uh everything looks pretty good lots of smoke lots of fire a little bit of red substance that shall remain nameless a little bit of somebody's head <laughs> um but yeah i think it looks pretty good guys what do you guys think if i don't win this if i don't win this it's rigged so we're over here at beef's portal dropping this okay we gotta put that. Hey, so what are you doing? Hey, oh, um, uh, hi. <laughs> you dropping? You dropping a chest off? Uh, yeah. It, it's. I mean, you know, it, it's a thank you chest. Oh. Oh yeah. You know, I'm probably. I'm just so used to being paranoid around all these hermits that I'm thinking you're doing something I, terrible. <laughs> I, I can't blame you. I mean, it's it's just a chest. But <laughs> it's just a chest. <laughs> right. I, I mean, you know. So. Oh. You know, it is a magic chest because I just opened it and there was nothing in there. Oh, wow. Get out of here. Oh, dude, that is so nice. Okay, so here's the thing. I was about uh -huh. to spend hours and hours uh, mining for iron because I'm completely out. <laughs> <laughs> so this could come in very, very handy. This is just for participating in your contest? It's it's a it's a, just a participation trophy. That's awesome, dude. I will participate in all the future, all the future <laughs> I, contests that you hold. And that's the thing, like, I, 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 I farmed enough stuff to make 10 beacons. Wow. Just, that, you know, in preparation. Yes, that is so <laughs> nice. I'm going to put this to good use. I, I can't promise you it'll actually use 
all the iron blocks for the beacon, but I'll definitely. No, that's, no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's awesome, I just, man. I, yeah, I just wanted to give everybody, you know, just enough stuff to actually build a full working. I mean, you, you would have to provide one iron to, like, activate it. What a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a B. When did you log in? Who's he talking about? <laughs> I don't know. You? Who? Me? Wow. He's very nosy, isn't he? <laughs> I know. What is he? What? Beefy, why not to talk to you? Oh, okay. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. All right, XB, thank you so much, dude. That is really, really appreciated. All right, um, go get your 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 trouble taken care of. All right, see you later. We have a business business proposition. A here. business proposition, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Should we go over to the to the llama shop? Oh, don't kill him yet. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. What do you mean, don't kill him yet? yet? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you two look adorable in your matching B. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm beautiful. Skins. That looks amazing. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> the eyes really add a nice touch there, Corrales. It's just a bee that's seen uh. some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've seen stuff. What do you want? No, don't, don't kill them. We don't, want don't kill them. llamas. Okay, well, there yeah. you go. You can have them. Well, we want uh, a lot of llamas. Oh. Is the problem. And we need a lot. How many llamas yeah. do you need? I, I got a proposition. Okay. We, we're looking for 16 llamas. Okay. okay. Yeah. Buying mm -hmm. 16 mm -hmm. all at once. Could we get them at half price? Ooh, half price would be eight diamond blocks for 16. What about <laughs> what about 10, 10 diamond blocks for 16 llamas? Stephen Nipples Batman. Are we <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say we take it. I mean, yeah. I, that sounds like a pretty good deal I, to me. Uh, yeah. I mean, ten. Yeah, that, that's the deal. So, uh, Shishrami, do we have any? Any? Do you have any diamonds? I'm I'm low on diamonds. I <laughs> thought you were the diamond guy. I only have eight blocks. Can we can we talk about a payment scheme? <laughs> a payment <No>. scheme? <laughs> he, he was eight. <laughs> There's eight. I got eight. There's eight. Okay, here's I'm the next gonna... two. Here's the next two. Oh wow, he really uh, he really let you take the the weight yeah, of this transaction, right. didn't he? <laughs> Hey, I, I've got I've got other payments to take care of. And look, have you seen the monstrosity we built over there? I I, I have. It cost me a lot. It, it it's something. All right. It is. It's, yeah. It likes the windows. Uh, but it's <laughs> It'll get windows. It's just wait. <laughs> <laughs> How many llamas are in this dispatch? There's twenty total llamas, five of each color. So um, Do have you at it. Bank on us. Oh my goodness. And you you have a little thing in the butt as well, right? I have a, I have access to the, that's employees only. That's in the butt. A, that's employees only. Don't touch the butt. You can't go in the butt. Employees <laughs> only. Oh, I'm in the butt. I'm in there too. Oh, oh, there's more of them back here. Okay, no, but these are these are my breeding specifically breeding llamas. I see. Part, part You're of this... breeding llamas in your butt. <laughs> as as one does. As one does. That's I mean, do you where not? Come from? Okay, part of this deal, though, unwritten is uh, and unsaid, is that I have to watch you click the button every single time because I really like watching the llamas come out of the mouth. Are, we Are they going to take full damage? No, a little yeah. bit. They'll be fine. A little bit? <laughs> They'll be fine. They're not going to take oh, a lot of fall so. damage. It's fine. Do Pick we have your... leads? Do you have... I'll get some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leads are in numbers. here. They're uh, one diamond each. <laughs> what a scam. I've got some. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have it. Oh, I guess he came unprepared, so you might have to take... Uh, oh, he's going to go get some. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Here you go, Kraus. Dang it. <laughs> Don't listen to this man. Do you want outfits for your llamas? Can't I mean, they come with outfits, but... Do we need, do we need outfits? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they come with them, right? They come with an outfit more. each, but you can get five separate outfits for one diamond. Okay. And that's I'll tell you what. Here. I'll tell you what. I'll put three in there. Three diamonds. That's yeah. 15. You'll give us one on the house, right? Yes, I will. I will do that. Beautiful. For you, okay. I like your faces, especially that one. Okay. I'm putting my feet. Right, we're gonna press the button. Okay, which one? What, what, one, what one do I press? Cream. Go cream. Uh, the button behind you. What does the light mean? Well, you gotta pick the color first. It's a creamy one. This you one. gotta. Yeah, that's just your color selector. So select the color, and then you gotta select it. Okay, gotcha. so cream is the first one. Yep, it is coming. Okay, hopefully this thing works. Okay, there we go. Ooh, and that's perfect. We don't need another. Uh, that didn't take any full damage. No, no. no wait, 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 wait. You got to be very careful what you hit when you do this. Ooh. Otherwise, otherwise you'll get spit on. Oh, okay, I guess my uh, minecart retrieval system isn't exactly working. <laughs> no, I broke it last time, man. 
Llamas do oh. llamas do carry chests, don't yes. they? Yeah, you just have to right click it with a chest. Oh. That's all. I had a panic attack. And I was like, "Where's the inventory?" <laughs> they don't come with the chests. Chests are extra. You should sell chests as well. Man. I probably should. Yeah, and some and some uh, some wheat. Okay. There you go. Like maybe because that is a creamy one. This is a creamy one. This one, right, Matilda? Yeah, that's a cream one, Matilda. Ooh. Yeah, I love the, the pop one. sound it makes. Yeah. It's so, <laughs> pretty sweet. Oh, almost not. What? Oh, you're on it. So their oh, their uh, inventory space all depends on, I believe, their uh, health or or something like that. So this guy actually, uh, you didn't get too lucky. He's only got three slots. I think it goes three, six, and nine. How, how, <gasps> what the white one get? Oh, the white one has nine. Nice. Okay. Hmm. That is part of the plan I didn't anticipate. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I remember? There's too much how stuff in this game to remember. Ah, okay, so there... Oh, I kind of thought it was like a big inventory space. No, it's not huge. Oh, dear. There, it might even go up to 12, but I can't remember exactly. These guys already come with carpets. Like, yeah, yeah, they have outfits. What I, was I spending my money on? <laughs> no, one outfit is included, but I mean, you want to change is, outfits. Is give it, give it, Why is he running away? He's not happy about oh, that. Yeah. Right, I want a caravan right? to form now. Um, yeah, you... How do you form a car character? <laughs> That's usually. I think, I think you have to lead oh. them with something that's as opposed it. to just let them hang out. No, that's uh, you. Your lead. I mean, that's all you should really need. But I think there's so many llamas in this space that uh, they might be attracted to a different caravan. Ah, <laughs> uh, like the ones up there. So what that's do they? Up. What do yeah. they? Uh, what do you breed them with? Uh, uh, uh wheat blocks. Mm, okay, yeah, they're perfect. not they're not responding to this. Okay, uh, yeah, let me try. We have? We have a great well, we got the leads. Yeah. We can take them around manually. Yeah, once you get uh, reasonably far away, I think it'll be fine. Um, you just got to get them over here. Kralis, this is going to cause a problem. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look, this guy's now not attracted to those llamas anymore. So, um, which guy? This guy back here that I brought. Oh, see, now, now this guy's following. You see that? Yeah, I yes. saw. You just got to get them <laughs> relatively yeah, far away from everybody else. Look, caravan is forming. Ah, and how many can you have in caravan? Ten. Excess ten. I don't remember how many it was. Oh, Matilda. Seven. As well. You Perfect. got seven. No, no, Matilda. No, you leave Matilda. She's, the, she's a part of the deal. She's a part of the deal. Well. <laughs> she is not a part of the deal. She's my model. The brown llamas are the cutest. You guys haven't even bought a single brown llama. No, but, but we want four of each. Oh, okay. Was 16, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right. I think we've got like five white ones, or maybe maybe they're white and gray. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's running no. over here. Well, you don't want to go anywhere. Going? It Come looks on. like you have uh, three white ones. One, two, three white ones. Yeah, I think. They're really hard to tell between the this white and the gray. Chaos. It's really annoying. I mean, what <laughs> do we do with them? We, well, we drop? have to keep them stocked. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we get Matilda. No, no. Part of it. Matilda's extra. You don't want Matilda. She was. She took so much damage because she was my test subject while I was building all this stuff. <laughs> bop, bop. She's still alive, man. Yeah, she's doing great. We, we want Matilda. Did you pick How another? Much? Everything has a price. No, 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 no. Matilda's not for sale. Everything has a price. Name price, Matilda. How much? Five diamond blocks. Oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> She's not even worth it. Like, I mean, yeah, she she's is. broken, man. She's not broken. She's a survivor. <laughs> you just said she's all broken up because the test subject. Thing. Not anymore. Okay. This is uh, this is number 13 right here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got one of the rare ones with no outfit. That's a special Ooh. one, guys. That's a special one. <laughs> we want money, our money back. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> In theory, we could get them all in one go, right? Like you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah if you get them far then. enough, there's let, let, two over there here. Here, I got a lead. I'll bring these two over. <laughs> this is chaos. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, this is so good. Oh, here, you want this one? You want this lead? I can take it. Okay, I can take it. I can take it. There oh, you go. You no? Can, can you be? Can I be on top when you when you do a caravan? No, because you can't control them. Ah. Uh, I mean, you could. Yeah, somebody could pull you probably but, while yeah, you're on top you, of the llama. Yeah, yeah we got. Try that, like Jump you ride on. one. Like Here. There we go. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is amazing. I have, there's one here out on the loose. I'm bringing it's another one. It's very tricky to count them because they all just group up together, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll tie this if one. We, to this if we're missing one, we'll we'll come back and grab it later. We'll 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 organize. Yeah, we'll organize about that. that. Okay. Hey, Sounds good. Have yours. fun with my llamas, guy. I mean your llamas. They're technically yours now. Uh, hey, hey, they are. They are indeed ours. Back policy, uh, beef. How much? How much? Uh, How I mean, we, we can discuss that later, but typically it's about uh, one or two diamonds per llama. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Really we've mismanaged these diamonds. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to make a dock over here. Now, the usual docks, uh, really, you, you throw down a bunch of wood planks. You put some wood logs to, I guess, make believe that they're, they're pillars on these wood planks. And boom, there you go. Bob's your uncle. You got a dock. Well, what if Bob isn't your uncle? What if your uncle's name is Steve? I think I want to make, like, a different sort of dock here. Something like, um, uh, would it be considered more European? I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. I also don't know if I should make it straight or not. We're going to try to make it straight as at first and then maybe fill this side with some sand to give it a little bit more shape to make it look a little bit more natural on this side. What the heck? Lag. Um, but yeah, we're going to do like a raised dock sort of thing. Uh, I guess it's got to be kind of in line with this. So it needs to be about this high. And then... We're going to bring it out here. There's going to be stairs going into the water. Like, I don't I don't know how to describe how what these docks look like, but maybe you've seen them before. They're made of, like, concrete. Um, we're using sandstone, obviously, to stay within the theme of the village. But I think they're, they're really, really cool, and I hope you guys uh, appreciate it when it's done. I really don't know how it's going to turn out just yet because I've never built one of these before. But I'm going to try it. Okay, okay. Now it needs to go all the way down into the water. I'm trying to get a feel for the length of it. I think what I need to do is bring this section back a little bit to make these look a little bit longer, uh, like they go a little bit further out into the ocean. So, I'm going to bring them back. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now all I got to do is uh, is run these blocks down all the way to the bottom of the ocean floor, and then eventually I'll probably build like a nice little skinny um, paddle boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my both terminologies and maybe even another boat over here. Who knows? Who knows? I think that'll be kind of fun for this dock area uh, Also, I got to run the stairs down as well The stairs will kind of go from over to the fr from front to back pretty much on both sides Okay, so I'm pretty much done There was one thing I wanted to do a little bit more I wanted to have like a little a little fish market here in the st in the corner so I managed to use the armor stands to lay these items down on top of the ice. That was um, not a problem. Then I wanted to hang like a crossbow, like from from like a tripwire hook and like a fishing rod from a tripwire hook. As in like, oh, you can go fishing with the fishing rod or the uh, spear gun is what it was supposed to be. And check this out. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, now I have a glowing crossbow in midair, and I cannot remove it. If I go here and says uh, and, and try to say, show stand, stand visible, yes, I get that one over there. And no matter how close I get to this one, it just does. Okay, let's not. All right, that's fine. Um. Anyway, eesh, check target. Where's my target? This is the target. Okay, show st oh, stand visible, no. Perfect. Um, yeah, so it's now floating in midair. I gotta fix this. I think I'm gonna call Cleo finally. You know, I feel like I feel like it's been a long time coming. Cleo needs to come and help me. I need a whole lot of help. <laughs> oh man, hopefully she's got some time to come help fix my mistakes here. Uh, I put some steps up this little hill, so now you're able to, to climb down pretty easily. Nothing too special here. I want to decorate a little bit more, but I got kind of sidetracked with like the fishing corner. So I don't know how much space this is going to take once I get that removed. I'll probably have some more fish and some more hanging or some hanging tools. I'm hoping I can actually make that happen. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so we're going to stop it here. Guys, this was a great episode. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun and we'll see you in the next one. Remember to leave a like if you want to see more and subscribe and hit the bell. I hate doing this kind of stuff, but really uh, it's very, very useful to us YouTubers. So please, please do that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Dang it.